15th in Portland into the State of Oregon Sports Hall of Fame, those uh, long overdue recognitions, I think, mean as much to our guest as anything else. Terry Baker, it's a pleasure to have you join us on the Joe Beaver Show. Terry, good afternoon. How are you today, sir? Oh, fine. Thank you. And, Terry, what about that beyond your own Heisman Trophy award-winning achievement of 50 years ago. What it has, what has it meant to you to see your team and teammates honored this fall? Well, I think it's great for them, and like you said, it's uh, long overdue, I guess. But uh, and unfortunately, some of them aren't even around anymore to uh, uh, enjoy it. But uh, you know, it's a, it's a it's a team sport, <laughs> and I've gotten way more than my share of uh, glory from it, and uh, those guys uh, deserve every bit as much. And yet, Terry, it is 50 years now. <laughs> it may not feel like it to you. I don't know how that's all felt over the last uh, 50 years, but is there? Uh, does the anniversary, does this number bring back a little bit more uh, a sense of savoring and reflection on your part about about the special nature of that season as a team and even your own incredible individual accomplishment? Uh, yeah, this has been a special year. Uh, you know, I've at the end of every football season, uh, there's a little bit of nostalgia that takes place. You know, people are contacting me because of having won the Heisman, wanting to know how I'm going to vote and things like that. But with the induction of the team into the Hall of Fame and seeing uh, some of the guys that I played with uh, for the first time in 50 years was just absolutely great. And uh, and what Oregon State's doing for me, uh, you know, in connection with this 50-year thing uh, and making a little special for me, is, uh, it's really made this uh, really, honestly, a, a special year, a lot more than any of the others uh, that have gone by. In, in, this, in this last 50 years. And has it gone by in a blur in some respects, Terry? Has it gone by <laughs> fast? <laughs> uh, well, yes, I guess it has. Uh, I tell you, uh, 50 years ago when I received the award, if you told me I'd be <laughs> 50 years later getting ready to go back to New York for uh, the presentation again, I would have laughed about it, you know, but it's gone by. I'm still here, thankfully, and, uh, and looking forward to uh, taking part in the ceremonies in New York here in a couple of weeks. And, Terry, 50 years ago, and we, I've asked you this before, and I know you've been asked many times, but in the world we live in today, when we see Heisman ballots and polls on so many different websites, and here's the front runner, this guy's the front runner, what about this guy for the Heisman Trophy? 50 years ago, Terry, what do you what do you remember at all about the process? And did you even know that you were quote unquote a front runner or had a chance to win the thing? Uh, my uh, my recollection, and uh, I'll be the first to say, you know, it may be a little bit foggy, but um, my recollection is there was no such thing as uh, a front runner, a Heisman watch, any of that stuff. I was totally oblivious uh, to the whole thing uh it wasn't even on my radar screen uh the, the last thing from my mind it never occurred that uh, i was in the running or i might win the heisman trophy when i received the call from new york telling me that i had won it it was just a total surprise mm-hmm. i didn't even know they were awarding it at that time of the year <laughs> um, so I, I guess that tells you you know that things have changed <laughs> john warren with mike parker is we're joined by Oregon State Heisman winner Terry Baker. Terry, I met you you, uh, years ago when I was about 11 years old. A friend of mine was friends with your son, and uh, I met you briefly. But even then, when I was 11, I knew of the accomplishment and and of the great deal with uh, winning the Heisman Trophy. We had a chance, like Mike had mentioned, to have several of the the players from that 62 team on, and they they all remembered you, you fondly, but they also remembered each other, and it was like they were getting an opportunity not as though they begrudged you in any way, shape, or form for all of your, your Heisman, uh, um, uh, you know, all of the accolades for that, but obviously for the opportunity for them to be able to, to be on the stage, and we enjoyed some great stories. What was that like for you? As you mentioned, you touched, touched on it earlier. H- had it been a full 50 years before you'd seen a lot of those guys? Oh, absolutely. And... Uh... Uh, <laughs> Vern Burke, who of course uh, is one of the more uh, uh, well-known people from that team, 
uh, I had a chance to meet him a day before uh, the presentation, and Vern comes in, and I, I still can't believe that's Vern Burke because I don't recognize him. Uh, uh, you know, he's this, all this white hair and whatnot, <laughs> and it's just been so long, and uh, it was really a, just like I'd met him for the first time again and getting to know him. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, people have changed. Uh, that's a long time. Uh, but some of them were exactly, seemed to be exactly the same. They were in college, uh, and and especially the guys on the team where uh, we were in the same fraternity house where I lived with them and really knew them well. Uh, it, it was really special seeing them. Well, Terry Vern, as you probably are well aware of, is a great storyteller. <laughs> and the way that he was recruited, he kept asking over again when told about you, well, can he throw? Well, can he throw? And at the end of the story, he says, yes, right-handed or left-handed. Well, uh, it wouldn't be the first time they lied to a recruit to get him to come to Oregon State. <laughs> Some things don't change, right? <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Terry Baker, our distinguished guest here on the Joe Beaver Show, as we wrap things up for the week, and I hope that all of you have a, a happy Thanksgiving and looking forward to the Civil War game on Saturday. Last couple of things, Terry, we appreciate your time. When you finally did get the call uh, from New York that you won the Heisman, oh, I did? Oh, okay, that's great. Did it, after that, though, in terms of the life experience, I remember talking to Bob Grimm about going, when he played on the Rose Bowl team. He said, he said, Mike, I was 18 years old. I didn't know what I, it was, the, but he said it was the greatest 10 days of my life. So I guess I wonder, when you did go back there and did get on that stage and did receive the award, did it begin to sink in then that, wow, this is pretty cool? I mean, even if it did take you by surprise, tell us about the experience going back there to receive the award. Well, the receiving the Heisman was one of several things that occurred simultaneously. In those days, uh, there were several different All-American teams that were picked. The Look Magazine at one time uh, had a team. And so I was back there in New York, it seemed like, for a week and a half or so uh, on various um, All-American type things, if you will. Um, mm -hmm. And in the course of that, uh, went to the Army-Navy game, met President Kennedy there at halftime. It was on the Johnny Carson show and the Ed Sullivan show. And, I mean, it was just a whirlwind mm -hmm. trip of just one thing topping the the other, you know, and there was, I guess I was just on cloud nine there for about a week and a half or two weeks, and then uh, my recollection is I did, missed actually some practices and then came back and joined the team and then got ready for the uh, Liberty Bowl game. But uh, it was a spectacular time and uh, a lot of fond memories even 50 years later. Was there any video saved in any way for you from those appearances that you talk about, such as with the late, great Johnny Carson? I mean, is there a video archive or record of that that you own? Uh, I own some film, and it's, it's, I have it in storage here in my, mm -hmm. in essence, my basement. I have never seen it since they <laughs> gave it to me, so I don't really know what's on it. But, yes, to answer your question, I do believe – I've got some uh, record of that, and, uh, of course, I've got a, a photograph somewhere of, uh, with uh, uh, President Kennedy at halftime, and then, which, ironically, when I meet him, he tells me that uh, you're gonna, I'm going to be seeing his brother in a couple of days. And I said, I am? He says, yeah, he's going to give you the Heisman Trophy. <laughs> and so that kind of blew me away, obviously. Uh, the president knowing more about my schedule than I knew about it myself. <laughs> U.S. Attorney General uh, Robert Kennedy at the time did present you with the award at the Downtown Athletic Club December 5th. So that is uh, that is an amazing stretch of life and time for, for our guest, Terry Baker, sharing it with us here. Two final questions. One is uh, Tommy Prothrow himself. I, I, when, when I see film, and we, we've been blessed in preparing, getting ready for the presentation that will be made, the video highlight reel of, of your great work, Tommy's offense and your your place and time with him, Terry, strikes me as the perfect fit, the perfect marriage. Tell me what you remember about Tommy's stuff that you ran and executed, and just you know what, what it was like to to play for him and run his offense. Uh, well, I'll, not only uh, Tommy, which I, I'll, he certainly deserves all the credit uh, he he can have, but. Uh, the entire coaching staff, I think, was excellent. Uh, I, mm -hmm. They took a bunch of really pretty average uh, football players 
and made a pretty good winning team out of them. Uh, I'd say we were, for the most part, overachievers. Uh, the addition of Vern Burke my senior year really made the difference uh, to our passing attack. Uh, he was uh, just an unstoppable, and uh, you know, could get, you could always count on him to get open. Um, you know, he did, Profer was just an excellent coach. You know, uh, well, what more can I say? We were well prepared, and everybody executed, and. The rest of the guys on the team uh, played up to their ability and maybe a little better than it. So we we got our roll. But the season really didn't start that great. We were 2-2. Two and two, And so I never, you know, when I look back on it, I kind of think, how did how did I ever win the Heisman Trophy in the first place? But, uh, <laughs> well, but as it went along, we became 8-2 uh, uh, season before the Liberty Bowl. So uh, yeah. we got better as the season went along. And the 8-2, and two, and we're down to 10 seconds, so we're going to have to let you go, but the 8-2 and two was because of a great rally and a win in the Civil War, which I think is appropriate. Your presence on the sideline, we hope, will inspire another one here on uh, Saturday. Terry, it's an honor to have you with us. Thanks for joining us. We look forward to seeing you here Saturday. You bet. Thank you.